Well, we awoke last Friday to the story of that meteor streaking across the Russian sky. Then we saw the video, thousands of them now. And now there are a lot of new questions about whether we're doing enough to be on the lookout for another direct hit with the planet Earth. While on the ground, pieces of that space rock are going for a hefty price. The story tonight from NBC's Stephanie Gosk. After the meteor smashed through the atmosphere, shattering windows in Russia and nerves around the world, it broke into pieces, meteorites. Most of them landed near this frozen lake. The largest piece may still be underwater. The search to find them is on. There are reports that residents are trying to sell the meteorites for as much as $10,000, a lot of money for a rock. But things from outer space can fetch a good price from collectors like Dave Geesling. I would love to house a piece of this meteorite in my collection, and every collector on the planet would, no question about it. The famous Peak Skill meteor was auctioned off for more than $16,000, caught on camera 20 years ago just before it took out the taillight of a Chevy Malibu. Fascination in meteorites and fear of them has peaked since last Friday. Over the weekend, two sightings in Florida and Northern California triggered a flood of anxious calls to authorities, even though those types of sightings are common. The new vigilance after the meteor in Russia is a good thing, says former astronaut Ed Liu. You can think of this as a giant game of, of roulette with, with the whole Earth. Liu has started an organization looking to build the first ever privately funded deep space telescope to track meteors. He believes people don't truly appreciate the danger. There's only ever been one recorded fatality from a meteorite. 1972, in a farm in Venezuela, a meteorite streaks through the sky and kills a cow. Scientists say the poor thing never stood a chance. Today at New York's Natural History Museum, there wasn't a lot of concern, just curiosity. Whenever I hear about a meteorite falling, I get all excited and stuff. The rocks can tell us a lot, says the museum's resident expert. They tell us about the formation of planets. And most, most importantly and subtly, they tell us about the dynamic history of the solar system. A dynamic history that continues to unfold, sometimes dangerously close. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York.